Fuel prices are at record levels. It now costs nearly £70 to fill up the average car, nearly 20% more than two years ago. The stack of fuel-saving gizmos advertised on the internet, from ECU remaps to magnets that sit on the fuel lines to gadgets that plug in a cigarette lighter, look more tempting than ever. But it's often the simplest ideas that are the best. If an engine is turned off, it can't use any fuel at all, which is why more and more manufacturers across Europe are offering models with systems known as stop-start. When your car comes to a halt, at traffic lights, for example, the engine automatically shuts itself off. Then, when you press the accelerator or clutch, the starter motor kicks the engine back into life. Now, Renault claimed that the stop-start system fitted to this McGann will save you between 10 and 12% of your annual fuel costs, which means if you do about 10,000 miles a year, you should save about £110, if it works. So to find out whether the stop-start system is one you should make sure you have on your next car, we're going to put it to a real-world test. This car has been completely drained of fuel and is now being refuelled with exactly one litre of diesel. I'm then going to drive it round and round the streets of Birmingham until it runs out. We'll check the mileage, bring it back here and then repeat the experiment over again. First, I'll have the stop-start system switched off, and then I'll repeat the test with it switched on. Same roads, same conditions, same car. We'll find out if stop-start really does save fuel. You never notice how many traffic lights there are in Birmingham until you do a test like this. Renault's shift light suggests when to change gear at the most economical time. I'll stick to it rigidly. I shall drive it as it wishes to be driven. Oh, green light, up to fourth gear. Well, this little hold-up might help the stop-start system because although we're just moving now, I've just been sat at some roadworks traffic lights for about two minutes, going nowhere, using fuel. After 45 minutes, the McGann began to struggle. Oh, well, woke up, oh. I've got a Boeing, I've got an engine failure hazard, a spanner. I've been told to stop. Oh, 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 no, I've splattered. Obviously, the engine wasn't happy, and that's a definite splatter. I ran out of fuel after 12.8 miles, equating to an impressive 58 miles to the gallon. I better phone up for a tow rope. The Renault's fuel lines were completely drained of any residual diesel and exactly one litre was poured back in. Time to do the test all over again with the stop-start system switched on. And now, when we stop, the engine stops. Ugh. See, there he goes. But there is one drawback that nobody tells you about with these cars, is that if you're in a lot of traffic, and the engine keeps on stopping a lot, then because you're using air conditioning and that sort of thing, the battery gets to a certain level and then it won't stop. So sometimes it's not so perfect. Right, here we are. The, we've just missed the lights at this four-way road work, so this should give a big advantage. Uh-oh. It just started up again. I haven't put it in gear, I haven't touched anything, I haven't declutched. With the electrical system still sapping power at a standstill, the engine was forced to cut in to recharge the battery. That's not a good sign. Two laps down and that's 8.9 miles on the clock. 12 miles, 0.8 of a mile to go. No sign of any engine problems. And soon I was past the 12.8 miles achieved on the non-stop-start run. We're winning. The question now is, by how much? 14 miles completed, 10% improvement. Oh, as soon as we left those lights, the bong, bong, bongs have gone. I now know that there's going to be a splatter any second now. Oh, that's it. That's it. We've coughed. 
It did the 10%, but now it doesn't want to go any further. The Megan managed 14.2 miles. So Stop Start had made a significant difference, increasing my fuel economy from 58 to 67 mpg. And yes, the average motorist doing most of their driving in town could save £100 a year. While these systems will push up the price of cars, and you might find the sudden juddering to a stop rather unsettling, there's no doubt that technology can save you money in the long run. Whilst the Ferrari has its little Manatino switch to change the car's setup, the Lamborghini has an anima. Yes, I did say anima. Apparently in Italian it means 